Oh, <laughs> oof. How glorious is this? We might as well get a ring around the Sahara, right? Pretty borders are important, right? Hey, it's Feedback Gaming. Well, you can just call me Dave. Give me, give me some Dave in the comments. I'm known for playing Hearts of Iron 4 at a mediocre level. Do you want to come with me on a Hearts of Iron 4 experience? Well, let's go. On a previous video, I said if we get 3k likes, I'll play as an African nation. You know what? I don't disappoint you guys. We're going to play as an African miner. Here we go. Decolonize Africa. And America. And you know what? Everywhere else. To make this more fun, let's go for war goals as well. Always free. Everyone can justify. And why not have a little bit of chaos, right? Let's go random for every single nation. Oh my goodness. Is this not beautiful? Hang on a second. Our flags look suspiciously like Romania. Hmm. Are you a fan of Hearts of Iron 4 content? Would you like to see more Hearts of Iron 4 content on my YouTube channel? Well, how about you hit the like button on this video? And that tells me, you know what? You want to see more of this. And you know what? I'll play as Norway. Not any old Norway. I will be a naval power Norway. 3k likes. Can we do it, boys? At the start of the game, we start with zero factories, and so does everyone else around us. So, we must first of all get our first military factory. Industry is where we're going to start, and we're going to go for construction. Let's go. Hang on a second. Chad? Nigeria? Niger? It's all the same guy. Whoa! And we have a, uh, a disagreement in Germany. Who should be the real ruler? We got... We've got Officer Hatman with red stripe, or should we go with Skullman with big beefy a hat? Who will win? At the start of the game, there's nothing to gain by getting any advisors because we're not gaining anything from it. So in this case, we'll use our first hundred PP to go for worker conditions. The Chadian, Chadis, Chadistan, Chadadinians, the Chadlanders, they will have the best working conditions. The very best. All right, Cameroon's first, let's go. Every goal, every objective, every quest has a need first step. And this division that's at 20% strength is the beginning. Let's go. And you have been chosen, General Acid Debbie. You are the boy. The Chadlandians will find a new home. In this case, the Central African Republic. Every single tile of Central African Republic has to be eaten for them to capitulate. Oh, they say they're at 0%. The game is completely bugged. What? I broke it. And for the loss of 19 guns, we have claimed the Fort of Rubber. The Fort of Rubber of Africa. Nigeria is next. We have a candidate of a field marshal here. Baba Kamehameha. Promote. Boom. Right. He has one division. And I'm gonna hope he acts really silly and moves down to here. No, he doesn't. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, let's try a baiting strategy. Oh, and here he goes! Here he goes! Here he goes, here we go, here we go. The United Kingdom has declared war on Albion? Ah, the British Union has uh, broken away from England. Hmm. All right, he's messed up here. He's moved down here. So that means I could just walk into his capital. Is that it? Does he pin him in? And... So currently we've occupied 100% of their territory, but because they occupy one mine, the war hasn't ended. Rip. We're going to go for the upper Volta next. And... Uh... <laughs> Another nation that seems to steal flags. That looks suspiciously like Germany. Hmm. Play a game of spot the difference. Let's get some cast on the go. Let's get some limited conscription. The glory days of Mali have certainly passed and they are not going any further as of right now. Ooh, this is gonna be a little bit trickier than I thought. I have to occupy them 100% and they have two divisions. So they are going to put up a fight. Whoa, we've got so many factories now. That's really awesome. Ooh, and they've all moved to one tile. Encirclement penalty, here we come. All right, let's go. Boom. Close the gap. Boom. Goodbye, Mali. 
Muritania is going to be next, and they have only civvies, so it's just free pickings, boy. All right, we've gone for secret weapons, so we are going to rush down the computer machine tech boosts. And we've also stacked that with free trade, so we're going to have a massive research bonus. <laughs> this is pretty amusing. This guy. This guy. This guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy. He's the same guy. He's just changing his hat. We have our first real contender now. The Kingdom of Morocco. They have a handsome number of factories and a good handful of divisions too. And the reason we want Morocco is because the delicious steel. <laughs> hey, it's trivia time. If you know the answer to this question, please comment below. What was the name of the interwar government for Germany prior to World War II? What was the name of the interwar government for Germany prior to WW2? Please comment below. Okay, so this is the plan, boys. We declare on Morocco, they move into the desert here, and then we just walk around them. <laughs> Let's see if this works. That's it. Ooh, one of them's gonna go. Come on, you can move more than one. Oh, he's going back now. <laughs> he knows our plan. What if we move back one? Oh, he's just gonna move forward now. <laughs> okay, that isn't gonna work. On a positive note, though, what we could do is pull our firepower into this one spot. And because we're not pushing over a river, we're actually gonna deal quite a lot of firepower. Okay, we have an opportunity here for a freebie. One less division for Morocco is like a really big deal. Oh, he's trying to encircle us now. Oh my goodness. Casablanca, 10 victory points. I think we might be able to take them out. Oh, we've got Casablanca. Are they going to move from here? They're moving here. Can we get do it by ourselves? Yes! Got him. Well, it's all kicking off here, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> if we can pull this off, it's going to be well funny. <laughs> I think that's pretty much going to be it, too. I don't think they've got any more divisions. Oh, my damn. These little simple encirclements are the simple pleasures of Hearts of Iron 4. The British Empire allies imperialist South African imperialist loyalists. What? Another one bites the dust. Oh, <laughs> Oof, how glorious is this? We might as well get a ring around the Sahara, right? Pretty borders are important, right? All right, let's make a decent division now. Let's go for a classic 7-2. Just go uh, around the back. Ooh, and that's where you're going too. Are we gonna be able to annex them here? <laughs> okay, we didn't have to push. We didn't have to win one skirmish. We just walked around the outside of them. Okay. All right, so this is the production queue at the moment. We're working on... Uh, Mainly working on the heavy tanks. Not so fussed about guns because we're getting a lot of guns from the nations we're annexing, but mainly, mainly focusing on uh, transitioning to tanks. What's the odds that Libya just gets bulldozed by us? Yep. Boom. Okay, so this is a little known fact that's actually kind of nice to know. You can actually hold a referendum without opening political discourse if you get 60% support for the part you want to flip to. I don't know, it just saves you that 75 political power, which is always nice. Voila! Look at that. The pan Shahilian Empire. Oh, and it's the same guy, but now he's a financial expert. Hmm. Moving up in the world. And we're going to go war economy. And we're going to go for extensive conscription. Hello, hello, hello. Four divisions. Mine. Oh, and Egypt has joined the Allies. Whoops. Well, that means we are at war against France, Canada, the United States, and the rest of South Africa. Oh, it's him again! Whoa! What is this? Germany. Hang on, are these volunteers? They're volunteers. And they're pretty meaty volunteers. It looks like if you lose the Civil War as America, uh, you forever remain orange and the Constitutionalist. Pretty much forever. Hey, and Egypt's gone. Not sure what we're going to do about these French divisions, though. Might as well just try and uh, pin them in. Alright, there's the French. Get out of Egypt. Done. 
All right, anyone else to worry about? Nope. Okay. The only thing we need now to unify the Sahara is Sudan, and they're gonna join the allies. How strong are they? Two divisions. If you think this is a mess, look at this. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to go service by requirement. Remember, I'm building this entire empire off one single core. This, this, one core. That's the only one I've got, 1.5 million. That's all I've got. Ugh. All right, so down time. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go for it. Poland has joined the Central Powers. Ooh. Oh no. The Central Powers have declared on Romania. What faction is Romania going to join? <laughs> the common turn? What? Well, that's perfect. That means the Central Powers are going to be fighting the, the common turns. The only bit of the Allies left in Europe is Sardinia and Corsica. We've just got to fight them now in the Congo and South Africa. Easy. Congo... Yep. RIP! Final tip of the Allies of Imperialism in Africa, the tip of the cape. We've taken them out! <laughs> this is it. It's done! The end, isn't it? Oh. The Dominican Republic <laughs> has taken it before I have. Okay. Man, this is glorious. Look at this. Absolutely. Stunning. So you can see that I've taken most of Africa. Uh, we mainly was Italy and the UK, but never mind. Uh, there was a civil war in Mexico. They were communists. Now they've gone Catholic and they joined our faction, which is kind of cool. So they've got a few Latin American countries that are in our faction. We've got most of Africa and the Union of Britain. The Allies are in Americas, in China. So we're all pretty divided across continents now. That's pretty much it. I think I'm going to wrap this one up here, guys. There's not much else to do. Don't forget, guys, to subscribe. To, uh, don't forget to ring the bell. Otherwise, your subscription means absolutely nothing. And don't forget, if you want to become a $5 patron, the link is in the description. And you get early access to these videos. I hope you have an absolutely epic day. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. See you soon.